Welcome to Wisdom for the Day. Today is day 54. We are in the sixth chapter of the book of Proverbs, verses 12 through 15, from the New Living Translation. What are worthless and wicked people like? They are constant liars, signaling their deceit with a wink of an eye, a nudge of the foot, or a wiggle of their fingers. Their perverted hearts plot evil, and they constantly stir up trouble. But they will be destroyed suddenly, broken in an instant beyond all hope of healing. Sometimes an evil person is easy to identify. Other times we need to be careful. 2 Thessalonians 2.7 mentions a secret evil power. The evil man in uh, verses 12 through 15 is dangerous because his evil plan is secret. His signals are small, but these signals might help us to identify him. Matthew chapter 7 verses 15 through 20 explains how to identify evil people. We need to look for the results of these people's actions. A good tree can't have bad fruit. A bad tree can't have good fruit. If we see a poisonous tree, its fruit is poisonous. If we see a good tree, like an apple tree, the fruit on it's good. So now we need to think of the actions in the man in Proverbs 6, 12 through 15. In verse 12, he speaks false words. A behavior like that's not good. It warns us about the man's true character. In verse 14, he starts arguments. That man's behavior is evil, and we can't trust him. We cannot see that the man is plotting an evil plan in his heart. But we can already see and hear his arguments, and we can hear his false words. The results of his actions are wrong, and he's like a bad tree. The man's actions are evil, So his plan is going to be evil. This Proverbs passage describes a man of iniquity. You've probably known somebody who's constantly trying to stir up trouble wherever he goes. There's a classic tale of a scorpion who asks a frog to take him across the river. The frog is afraid of being stung to death, but the scorpion convinces the frog that he's in no danger. Because if he stings the frog in the river, they would both die. As the frog swims with the scorpion on his back, the scorpion does sting the frog. As the scorpion is drowning and the frog is dying from the sting, he asks the scorpion why he did it, knowing he would also die. The scorpion's reply, that's my nature. And that's why Proverbs says that a person whose heart is perverseness will experience calamity. It's such a person's nature to create calamity for others, even though the person's going to suffer as well. Let me ask you, do you know a scorpion of a person? Well, that's all for today, but I'll be back tomorrow. But if you just miss me so much and have to hear my voice, remember to go to wisdomfortheday.org. You can check out all the past episodes. And if you like this show, do me a favor, please. Tell someone about it. You can share it on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. But really what works best is if you send them a link by text. Because you can add a note and say, I really enjoy this show, and I think you would too. You have a lot more influence than you believe you do. Until tomorrow, I'm Rick. I love you. See ya.